this morning, a different kind of battle royale. Soon as I pull up, it was going down. It's Apple versus Epic Games, the creator of the wildly popular Fortnite. The two tech giants will go head to head in a California courtroom Monday after the gaming company filed a lawsuit against Apple, alleging the App Store has enormous power and uses its monopoly to coerce developers. One major argument that Epic makes is that the iPhone is essentially a computer in your pocket. Um, and if you have Apple's Mac computers, you're able to use yeah, apps from wherever. You can download apps from the internet. Therefore, you should have this uh, flexibility, this accessibility. Apple CEO Tim Cook and head of Epic Games Tim Sweeney could both testify in court in the coming weeks. The industry juggernauts battle over one major issue, the so-called Apple tax, a 30% fee that developers pay on digital purchases made via Apple's App Store. Last year, Epic Games added a new feature to Fortnite, allowing gamers to bypass Apple's App Store for certain in-game purchases, like a new look for a character or a celebratory dance move. Apple fired back, booting the game and millions of their users off the Apple platform. Apple's defenses in this case. It's not here to defend its App Store policies. It's here to say that Epic broke its rules. Apple says this control over the App Store is vital to keeping its system safe and secure while protecting the privacy of its users. It's unclear how the case will go, but the lawsuit could have far-reaching implications. One uh, outcome could be that Apple is forced to allow other App Stores onto the iPhone, which could mean less expensive stuff. To be sure, the tech community on this side of the Atlantic will be watching this case very closely. European regulators say they are too. Deirdre Bolton, ABC News, New York.